Hello students, welcome to PRS Biology. Today I am going to discuss the practical dissection of the flower Hibiscus rosa sinensis. Commonly it is known as the Sina rose and its family is Malvesi. So it is very important and for the class 12 student it will come in your final examination. So for practical examination dissection of the flower is very important and as I noticed during your practical examination lots of students wrongly dissect the flower parts and also in the practical copy diagram diagrams contain lots of errors so in today's demonstration I will show you how properly dissect the different parts of the flower and also the diagram you have to maintain the drawing of the diagram in proper sequences let's see here you can see the uh, hibiscus flower i am using the red flower here five petals are present you can see the pollen grains we have to start from the separation of the epicalyx and here i am using a blade to separate the epicalyx from the flower you have to carefully remove the uh, epicalyx care should be taken while dissecting the flower so this is the epicalyx here you can see the epicalyx part of the flower one thing you have to mind that it is the epicalyx not the sepals so in this trick you can easily get the epicalyx with pedicel without any damage let's move to the separation of the calyx so you already know that the calyx is the outermost part of the flower individual members are called sepals now you have to remove the sepals uh, from the flower I am using a needle and blade to dissect the sepals from uh, from the flower and you can see there are five sepals you have to be very careful while separating the sepals because there is a excess suns to be get damage while removing its parts now you can see the sepals and it is five in number it is green in color and its function is to protect the ovary from the injury now also you have to be careful while arranging your, your dissecting parts of the flower and sepals uh, should be below the corolla parts of the flower now it is time to separate the gynoecium from the corolla here you can see you have to be soft while doing it di uh, doing your dissection because all the floral parts are very soft and use the dissecting needle to separate the uh, gynoecium from the flower here you can see the pollen grains and we have to separate the carpel from the parts of the corolla that is the petals so petals are involved in uh, mainly attracting the insect if the flower is involved in cross pollination now here you can see with the soft hands you have to be separate the gynoecium here you can see it is the gynoecium or carpel it is the female reproductive part of the flower so it is the perfect dissection 
you can see the parts of the gynoecium the topmost portion is called the stigma and the, the long part of the gynoecium is called the style and the basal solen portion is called the ovary so in general the gynoecium part of the flower contain three parts stigma style and ovary now i am going to show you the arrangement or display of the dissecting floral parts you have to arrange it accordingly starting from the epicalyx then calyx and corolla with endoecium and in topmost portion you have to display the gynoecium part so it is the proper sequence epicalyx calyx corolla with endoecium and gynoecium gynoecium should be placed in top of the corolla it is the proper arrangement So a flower containing calyx, corolla with endoecium and gynoecium. In this way, your display of the dissecting floral parts in case of Hibiscus rosa sinensis is completed. In display of the floral parts, you also get the marks in your practical examination. Now, here the complete diagram of the practical of the cyanaros flower here you can see the diagrams are also in proper sequences you have to do it in a single page if possible and here you can see the complete flower and complete flower has petals, sepals, epicalyx. Then in the right hand side you have to draw the gynoecium and as I already told it has the three parts stigma, style and ovary. Next you have to draw the corolla or petals with androecium so corolla part has the petals as its individual members you can start your drawing from the epicalyx and gradually calyx and in left hand side you have to draw the floral diagram of the flower so in outermost it is the epicalyx layer and then the sepals it forms the calyx and then corolla and these are androecium or pollen grains in the center you have to draw the ts of ovary it is the transfer section of the ovary and after dissecting the transfer section of the ovary you can observe it under the microscope and you will get five chamber within the ovary so this is the complete description of the hibiscus rosa sinensis different floral parts care should be taken while drawing drawing should be neat and clean and if you do like this then there will not any chance of losing a marks so students are always worried about uh, their diagrams in biology but one very important thing when you take it simple when you think it as a tough task then there will be a problem but when do it simply then you can get easily as if your result
थैंक यू